Welcome back. So today, today we're gonna have another little chat about plus lenses. I just got an email today from a guy who, not specifically following N. Myopia's method, did a plus lens thing, right? And if you're not familiar with this, it's plus lenses are reading glasses. They're the opposite of the glasses that you'd wear for myopia, right? When you can't see clearly far away, you're wearing minus lenses. When you're, when you can't read up close easily, you're using plus lenses. And some people got it into their heads that if you've got very low myopia to introduce stimulus while you're looking up close, you'd wear plus lenses. Because the idea there is you can still read the text in front of you, but the plus lenses make it blurry at the far end of that reading distance. And that allows you to push the image to be clear and that improves your eyesight. That's the general idea. When people start with vision improvement, they define eye exercises first, right? And they try exercises and for most people, for a majority of people, eye exercises aren't that effective. And then there's eye vitamins and eye other stuff and none of that stuff really works. And if you're the kind of person who uses Google Scholar and looks at studies and looks at science, all of those stuff doesn't, all that stuff doesn't make any sense. On the other hand, plus lens therapy with low myopia does kind of make sense because it addresses the hyperopic to focus, it addresses positive stimulus, it addresses a lot of things in a reasonable way. The problem with it is, the guy who emailed me earlier, I'm gonna link that below, he wore strong plus lenses like plus two diopters for a year, 12 hours a day for all of his close-up use, and now he's got vision problems. But if you wanna read that whole thing, link below. And this is what, if you follow my stuff, if you have been following my stuff, you are more close? Do you want the face more or the closer? If you've been following my stuff for a while, you know that I always caution about plus lens use. I say don't use them more than 50% of the time. Use them only if you really need them. Use them only if you know what you're doing and why you want to be wearing them because plus lenses aren't the first stop, right? Even though it sounds reasonable. So the reality is that what fixes your distance vision is one, close-up strain management. Right, like you want to deal, you don't want to wear your full minus glasses when you're focused up close for extended periods. You don't, that's the worst thing you can do. So you need a correction that lets you see up close, but not further than you need to. That's number one, right? Number two, what the, the strain. So you want to manage the strain. You want to manage the focusing muscle spasm potential. You don't want your focusing muscle to be locked up. That's number one. Number two is stimulus, right? And the problem with the plus lens use is the assumption that close-up vision challenge, like this close-up blur horizon, significantly improves your eyesight. And that's, I have found that not to be accurate. Yes, it reduces close-up strain. Yes, to some extent, you can improve your vision by doing this close-up exercise. But when looking at a large amount of people trying this over the years, I found that to be a lot of issues. I found that to be a lot of side effects. I found a lot of complaints. It's not something that I would advocate as a starting point. Instead, and if you're thinking logically, what fixes your distance vision is distance vision. What doesn't fix your distance vision is some pill, is some exercise, is trying to wiggle around the problem right? Like you're not going to very effectively fix your distance vision with any kind of close-up activity. You're, you're not. And yes, some people have. Yes, theoretically it's possible. Yes, if you have no other choice, maybe you can, but it's not the first avenue. The first avenue is challenging your distance vision, right? And we talk about this a lot. Like if you wear glasses that correct you to, for example, say 2030, right? Where you get a blur horizon at a usable distance. And if this is all news to you, read some more, I mean, watch some more videos or read some more of the blog. You want glasses that let you see clearly at a distance. You don't wanna go without glasses, but you want that distance to be limited somewhere where there's a bit of blur, where it's usable, right? Like not 300 meters away, but somewhere where, okay, I'm seeing clearly, I'm seeing the people around me, I can I recognize their faces, but the car license plate, the street sign, the, the billboard across the street are challenging to read. So I'm reminding myself to use active focus, to clear up the blur, that challenge, that a little bit of blur that I'm actively working on clearing up, that improves your distance vision. Primarily, if you want the most effective way of improving your distance vision, that's it, right? It's not manipulating your close-up vision. 
even though in theory it should work, right? Like if you read all the theory, you're like, well, this gives me a blur horizon, this challenges my vision, this, this emulates distance vision using plus for close-up or using reduced minus for close-up. But while in theory that's accurate, in practice when you try it, lots of weird things happen. Logically, distance vision fixes distance vision. Manipulating close-up vision can help with eye strain, can help reduce ciliary spasm. It doesn't address reduced blink rate. It doesn't address lacking oxygenation of the eye. It doesn't address the fact that you're still gonna get some focusing muscle spasm. It still doesn't address the fact that it's simply not biologically designed, ideal to be staring at any single fixed focal plane. It's not natural to, reduce, to use an artificial focal plane and all the little things that happen. Without getting too deep into vision biology, there's a ton of stuff that happens with your eye. Your eye's always responding to stimulus. Your eye's always looking at what is the focal plane. And no kind of plastic lens is perfectly emulating a natural focal plane. So no matter what you do, be aware that there's going to be trade-offs, there's going to be risks, there's going to be compromises. So if you have low myopia, when I had low myopia, I just don't use anything for close-up which is not true. I've sometimes used plus lenses for close-up when I needed it. But by and large, the correct activity is in close-up, if you're low myopia, if you don't need glasses, if you're below minus two, if you can take off your glasses and see your computer screen at an ergonomically comfortable, normal distance clearly, meaning not like having to stick it in front of your face, then don't wear glasses, right? If you can see your screen clearly and you can see clearly still even if you put it far away and plus lenses seem like the correct solution to make it so you have a blur challenge, don't go there first, right? What you wanna do first is look at, can I improve my sight about a quarter diopter every three to four months? A little bit less if you're really in low myopia because the percentage improvement there is greater, obviously, right? So first you wanna see, can I improve my vision, my distance vision, by challenging my distance vision and by having good close-up habits, right? Having good natural ambient light, keeping the screen at an ideal distance, taking real outdoor breaks every at least, at, I mean, at the maximum at three hours. Like the basics first, don't start with trying to shortcut and trick and use other artificial focal planes to make up for things that you know are not good for your eyesight, right? If you, you know that, eight hours in front of a screen are not good for your eyes, that fixed single close-up focal plane, the massively reduced blink rate, all those things are bad for your eyes. Don't expect to shortcut what's bad for you with a plus lens, right? Like now you have a bad scenario and to fix the bad scenario, already adding artificial focal plane, just listen to that. If you're not gonna be greedy, right? If you're not gonna be looking for some kind of magical shortcut, something to hide your bad habits, think about what you're doing there and realize that logically that sounds like a not great idea. Because it isn't, right? Instead, try to fix your distance vision with distance vision. Good close-up habits and when you're, you're looking at a distance, build a habit to challenge your distance focal plane, right? That's where you wanna start and then see if you're getting improvements. Three months, six months, you should be seeing improvements. If you are seeing improvements, that's all you wanna mess with. Sometimes you have no choice, right? Sometimes you need that extra stimulus. Sometimes you have a lot of close-up activity. You might try a plus lens, right? And, but it's after you already tried everything else and, and you're making progress, right? Which means that you've dealt with the close-up strain effectively and that means you have good distance vision habits. If you don't have those two things, then going to plus lens as a shortcut is never gonna be a good idea. The shortcut is never a good idea. Right? It never is. And the reason I'm making this video and the reason I've answered this a million times is because people are always looking for the shortcut. Nobody wants to do the right thing. Everybody wants a shortcut. And it's, it's in the human psyche, the, there was a real popular, hugely popular internet ad thing, this one trick, this one strange trick. You might have seen those kinds of banner ads, which appeals to our psyche. Like we love that idea that there's one weird trick that can fix stuff instead of the right thing, right? The right thing being your distance vision sucks because you're not using it and you're spending too much time in close up. How can I keep doing that and still fix my distance vision? It's what a lot of people ask and that's just, you want better distance vision, right? So use it, sounds obvious. So you might end up, once you're past all that and you're making progress, 
but you're very low myopia and you're not getting enough stimulus and your job just is what it is and you have to be in front of a screen a lot, you might do a little bit of plus lens. You might do a half an hour, right? Starting out and then going to no glasses. You might do, I've said as much as 50% of your close-up time with plus, but gradually increasing, monitoring centimeter changes, getting your outdoor time, maintaining positive habits, all the other stuff you're doing, right, that you were doing before you started with plus lenses, then you gradually add plus lenses and see if it improves your progress. Don't just go, hey, I have low myopia, what's a quick fix? Oh, plus lenses, I'm gonna throw them on and wear them all day, every day. Not a great idea. Anytime, like you know this, anytime you're looking for a shortcut, that's what happens. Different story with children. With children, sometimes more plus lens use is a good idea, but I very much am not gonna make recommendations there because I can't make up my mind. How much of this messy room do you wanna see? With children, the eye's still developing. So there's been anecdotally a lot of talk about how plus lenses are effective for children. This can be true. I have a kid, right? If, if my child starts developing some myopia symptoms, I'm gonna print a child eye chart. I'm gonna every month check the child's vision, make sure that we were getting to the same level on the eye chart. If there's any degradation there, then I'm gonna increase outdoor time. Then I'm gonna look closely at what are our close-up habits like. Remember, no shortcuts, right? Like first address the real issues. Don't try to fix stuff without addressing the underlying cause first, right? So if all those things are addressed and if the myopia is increasing because there's a genetic predisposition to some extent. It doesn't cause myopia, it just exacerbates the symptom. If it's because homework, we already covered the lighting, we already covered the distance, we already covered everything else, I might introduce a little bit of plus lens use, but I'm gonna monitor the progress. I'm gonna make sure there are no other issues, right? Plus lens is like a, a supplemental thing that you might use far down the road when everything else is already in line. You don't start with plus lines. Whatever the internet says, however tempting it is, however much nerdy science and jargon is thrown in with it, however many people comment in forums how awesome plus lines is, don't. Realize, realize what you're trying to do. Realize that you're trying to shortcut what you know is a bad habit. Realize that you're trying to use a plus lens to fix you spending eight hours in front of a computer at work and then going home and playing World of Warcraft and playing on Facebook and on Instagram and, and just doing all kinds of more screen stuff, you're not going to get out of this trying to find a shortcut for bad habits. And even if some people do, right, there's always, always people online that, that have every symptom, right, and that cure their symptom, even though myopia is not an illness, there's no cure, that cure their symptom with this magical internet thing that you're gonna find in a corner. And then there's gonna be people chiming in. Like if you've looked at multiple health issues online, this is a theme. So don't fall for that. Just because somebody, somebody always comes up with a bunch of jargon and a bunch of science for one weird quick fix thing, right? And then they build a bit of a community around it and people love it because it's like, oh, I can ignore my bad habits. Deal with the devil, right? Do the right things, adjust your habits, learn what everything does, and then if it makes sense, you can add a bit of plus lens. That's it, that's all I'm gonna say. Actually, that's almost all I'm gonna say. I'm also gonna say I feel a little bit guilty because sometimes I feel like potentially and myopia, predecessors of and myopia, that we maybe have started this trend on some level because we're talking about plus lenses and people just took that one thing and made that the one weird trick. I really have that feeling. Like, I don't know where else it would have come from because so much of it is the science that we talk about, but taking out all the, the personal accountability, the making good habits, like all the things you should do, and just grab this one thing out of it that looks like it's the one weird trick, right? Like ignoring everything else, but taking the science and taking the focal planes and taking the stimulus and being like, oh, you don't need to fix your close-up habits, just wear these plus lenses. I worry that we contributed to that, and I don't want you to fall in the trap. Just do the right things, right? Don't be greedy, realize that bad habits cause the issues and realize that you wanna address the bad habits to fix the issues. And that is all I'm gonna say about it. If you like this video, despite possibly the noise and the messy 
Not a very fancy hotel room. Jeez, Jake. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.